Hey, what's going on? This is another episode of the Reporter Blog Vlog, vlog on a on a Tuesday. I mean, uh, my bad. On a Friday, January 19, twenty twenty four. Pretty much uh, going to do a double header today. Uh, uh, one from the uh, from the chapters of Hollywood, uh, uh, the crazy world of Hollywood. Another uh, it's from uh, pretty much local celebrity uh, news. Um, well, let's get started. Um, Nevada Supreme Court panel won't consider dances with wolves after Nathan Chasen horse case. <laughs> yeah, isn't that something? There was uh, don't really know this actor. Uh, uh, because uh, I only seen uh, I think uh, dances all the way through uh, once, uh, pretty much. Uh, I think I was in high school, but uh, he didn't get himself in a lot of trouble. Uh, I think the same dude that was, but uh, never mind. Let's uh, get into the story. You no, know, he's often no commentary when you get the story right in front of your face. <laughs> His story is brought to you by WDRB. And uh, shout out to my friend that, that uh, sent me the story uh, uh, as well. The Royal Supreme Court panel won't consider, uh, reconsider uh, Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasen Horse uh, case. A panel of Nevada Supreme Court justices won't consider former Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasen Horse's request to dismiss an indictment. They accuses him of leading a cult, uh, t- uh, taking in underage wives and sexually abusing the indigenous women and girls. Mm. A panel of Nevada Supreme Court justices won't cons- uh, reconsider former Dances Wolves actor Nathan Chasen Horse Horse's request to dismiss a sprawling indictment that accuses him of leading a cult, taking underage wives and sexually abusing the ingenious ingenious, uh, women and girls. Rehearing denied uh, two or three justices who uh, heard oral oral arguments last uh, November said in uh, in a terse order dated Tuesday, Justice Douglas Herndon descended uh, Jason Jason Horses and still can uh, seek a hearing before the full seven months uh, member of court. The state high court the decision means prosecutors in Las Vegas can proceed with the 18 count criminal case. After months of chasing horses' legal challenges, the 47 year old has been in custody since his arrest in January of 2023. Um, near the uh, North Las Vegas home, he is said to uh, have uh, shared with five wives. Busy boy. Jason Horso has pleaded not guilty to the charges, including sexual assault of a minor, kidnapping, and, uh, and uh, child abuse. A uh, hearing is uh, scheduled next Wednesday in Clark County District Court. His lawyers argued that argued the case uh, should be uh, dismissed because former actor said the sexual crimes were consensual. One of his accusers was younger than 16. The age of consent in uh, Nevada when uh, the alleged abuse began, authority said. Christy Holston, a uh, uh, a deputy uh, public defender representing Chase and Horse, who also argued that the indictment was all overreached by the Clark County uh, District District Attorney's Office and some evidence uh, presented in the grand jury, including the, def- the definition of grooming. Had tainted the state uh, state's case. Austin uh, de- uh, declined Darcy uh, Darcy to co- comment about the state Supreme Court decision. Jason Horse is known for his portrayal of Smiles a lot in the 1990 film Dances with Wolves. 
Law enforcement authorities say the decades since starting in the Oscar winning movie Chasing the Horse became a self proclaimed medicine man among tribes and traveled north uh, around uh, traveled around North America to uh, perform healing ceremonies. They uh, say he used uh, his position to gain access to vulnerable girls. Uh, that's it. Uh, vulnerable girls and women start, uh, starting in uh, the early 2000s. These allegations cross multiple United States, including uh, Nevada, where he was uh, living in, living with uh, when he was arrested, as well as Montana and South Dakota, according to the indictment. When the victims identified in Nevada, a case was 14 when Jason Horse told her that the spirits of the ancestors had instructed him to have sex with her uh, according to the court documents and prosecutors. Prosecutors. So basically, this monster used uh, his little uh, whatever, uh, his little position to get over on, uh, uh, get over on vulnerable girls uh, pretty much 14, 16 years old. Use his position, uh, uh, pretty much that's hustling, and uh, we, we all know what he was hustling for. Um, but uh, man, uh, yeah. but the crazy thing about it, they, they're trying to dismiss this the, the dismissal of this case. Let's go up to, to this one point. Let's go over this one point that I mean. Um, she had five wires. There we go. Yeah, basically, uh, um, yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to hunt for. His lawyers argued that the case should be dismissed because the former actor said that sex was consensual. If, uh, one of his uh, accusers was younger than 16, the, the age of uh, consent in uh, Nevada when uh, the alleged abuse began, as I already said. Uh, uh, that's a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Basically, it is a, a monster taking advantage of underage girls, um, saying that everything was consensual, everything was uh, legit. But of course, when, when you're vulnerable, you don't know the you don't know a, a snake when he walks up to you, because he because he, he's uh, he's a per, pretty much an actor. He pretty much told them what they wanted to hear, and that's basically the, the case. And he got what he wanted. Got what he wanted. Uh, he told him what he wanted to hear. Crazy thing about it, he wants this case dismissed. Because he, he, uh, he don't care to see the seriousness of the, this whole situation. Because he, uh, he don't think nothing's wrong with it. Basically, he's basically uh, a modern-day version of Brigham Young, or uh, uh, Mormon in general. That's, what, that's how they were... Uh, is how they uh, acted. They had five wives, uh, and, and, and well, you, you take it from her. But uh, this it, it, is a, well, like I said, basically, this is a, a case of a monster getting away with uh, getting away with it, uh, with uh, what uh, what he uh, got away with to keep it G-rated. <laughs> Let's find that other point. It pretty much sums up his whole case. Yep, one of the victims identified the Nevada case was 14 when Jason Horse told her that the spirit of the ancestors had instructed him to have sex with her, according to the court documents and, and prosecutors. Of course, of course, the spirits are going to uh, say that. Yeah. <laughs> of course, and sure ain't no, uh, sure ain't no. Uh, 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 Angel is going to say it. It's your ain't God is going to say that. Uh, 
But uh, basically, this is a uh, pretty much a, a, a monster, like I say once again, so, telling girls what they want to hear and what they, and, and, what, and he, uh, trying to get out of it, and he's trying to get out of it, claiming that it was consensual. Yeah, okay. and somehow they, it was, somehow everything was. Uh, it was, everything was consensual when they uh, when the uh, other side, uh, other uh, party uh, doesn't know what's really going on. <laughs> of course, it, anything can be consensual when the other side uh, doesn't know what's going on, what's come, what's uh, what's coming toward them, what's uh, or what the uh, uh, the situation is. Because a fourteen to 15, 16 year old will believe anything. It sounds real. Sounds uh, it seems like sounds uh, uh, it seems like it uh, sounds legit. In other words, I'm glad they uh, denied him uh, dismissal. Hopefully, he continues to get what he deserves. Cause this is a this is like I said, a monster trying to get away with a very, 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 very nasty crime. Yeah, very nasty crime. But this is all I got for this one. Uh, this uh, the first episode of the reporter vlog for January 19th on a Friday morning. Y'all have a good one. Next one, uh, off to my next episode.